grating is loose. It hasn't been tightly fixed in place. The grate doesn't seem to be fastened securely. The grating is loose. It hasn't been tightly fixed in place. The grate doesn't seem to be fastened securely. Can you see anything? Came from more there. I heard something. Are you down there, outsider? I heard something. The grating is there. loose. It hasn't been tightly fixed in place. Can you see anything? over there. There. What was that?
the gym! Kill him! the area. Who goes there? Get him! Spread out! He's disappeared! It won't open. Where did he go? Search the area! Spread out! Some old books have been left lying here. I can't see this meeting with the order's approval. It's the minister's journal. Looks like whoever slept here last was woken suddenly. It won't budge. It won't budge. The window looks out over the back of the vicarage. It's locked. Jack, you're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the order wouldn't stand. Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The Order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack, to Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank. Just past the old water tower. We better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No, but he gave me this. I think it'll help. Ah, found us. We have to leave now. <gasps> the church is this way. We know you in the right Letters and books. It won't open. Letters and books. Nothing unusual. Come on! Letters and books. Nothing unusual. Quick, Jack! 
What are you waiting for? We must get to the church! They're surrounded! There's no way out. God help us! We'll have to make a run for it! We'll need now. To... Take him down! We'll be protected inside! Follow me, Jack! I'll be joining her if I don't get moving. She's dead. These doors on Cider! Just give yourself up, Outsider. The Order will have mercy on your rotten soul. The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. The pulpit is stained with you blood. Get away! There's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. to come out now. We'll not gut the gal, Carcass. Open these doors, outsider! Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. Trapped. There's no place you can run. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, 
who died in 1837, aged 49. All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. It's no use. I don't know the combination. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. It appears to be some sort of code. I must have got something wrong. That's not right. Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. The safe holds a stone cross. History was never my strongest subject. There's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside down cross.
hear anything in the church? Make you speak down. You better check the bank again just to be certain. Planks look weak. I'd better watch my step. I heard something. Chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. Search the area. The radiator's cold. Spell out. Search the area. Spread out. Search the area. Spell out. Lots of old storage boxes. Nothing useful. 
It won't budge. Search the area. grandfather clock. It stopped ticking. Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Maggie. You know it, and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Maggie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. It won't budge. Decorative vases and bowls. All of them empty. What can you tell me about the Order? They control all aspects of life in Innsmouth, Jack. Law, business, religion, politics, everything. Robert Marsh is the man at the top. He's a real recluse. No one born out of Innsmouth has set eyes on him in decades. The government has nothing on this Marsh fella? Only that he's an intensely religious man, obsessed with fanaticism and witchcraft. He's evil, Jack. Rumors round these parts reckon even Beelzebub himself lies in fear of Robert Marsh. What about the rest of the Marsh family? Well, there's Sebastian, Robert's elder brother. He's the manager of the Marsh Refinery. He's more of a businessman. There's gossip on the streets of a feud between the brothers. Hold on a second, Mackie. I thought Jacob Marsh was the refinery manager. Well, yes, he is. Jacob is Sebastian's son. He handles the day-to-day -day running of the place, but the real power lies with Sebastian. Where's the jailhouse? At the end of the main corridor. Just through the window. Thanks, Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> 